Hell's Canyon is the deepest river gorge in all of North America. Her depths were carved out over the course of six million years by the constant flowing of the Snake River. In 1806, three members of the Lewis and Clark expedition entered Hell's Canyon, but left it relatively unexplored until miners arrived in the 1860s, which followed by a homesteading boom in the late 1880s. Part of those early homesteaders were Tituses. The canyon, rich with family history, holds a special place in the heart of our family, a place that draws us back year after year deep into the canyon. The massive 10 mile wide canyon is completely roadless. Those that dare enter will experience some of the most wild and beautiful landscapes remaining in all of North America. For us, it takes us home and to a place to create new memories with friends and family and enjoy the partnership with our mules as has been done by our family for over 150 years. dream western hunt come true right here seen anything wild as you him and those deer came in 30 yards from me it's so awesome when it comes together there he is sweet summer rain To be in this moment right now is like Fantastic. pretty unreal. Absolutely perfect, but we got it done. It's, oh my gosh. Yes, thank you, God. <laughs> For me, packing with horses and mules is a tradition that started over 37 years ago. The miles that we have traveled have been shared by some of our mules for over 25 years. The thrill of these trips lies in experiencing the trails that are rarely traveled, seeing some of the most spectacular landscapes to be found, all without ever seeing a vehicle or hint of modern civilization. The slow drumming sound of hooves striking the trail takes you into some of the roughest country in the world. From archery elk hunting in the fall to spring bear hunting, Hell's Canyon holds an allure of adventure that is undeniable and an opportunity to share laughs along the way with friends. Out here, the miles are first traveled with your eyes. Then the work begins. I think if we get just up the top of the timber there and pop over that ridge, we should be able to look up that draw. And I think we might be able to get an eye on him. He'll, he'll probably drop down in there and bed someplace, maybe. Or call him in. Call him in. Exactly. Either way, he's coming in the right direction. He's yeah. coming right, he's coming down off the hill, which is good. Yeah. We don't want to climb that whole thing. Anyway, I don't. <laughs> Let's go.
The challenge is not only finding animals, but deciding if you can in fact even get to them. The steep, expansive landscapes make some stalks physically impossible. Snowed in above and cliffed out below, looking at bears that are literally living above the mountain goats and wild sheep in impossible to reach places. One thing is for sure, the view from the saddle cannot be beat. Traveling across the steep mountainsides are sure to take your breath away. We've got a really beautiful uh, cinnamon bear spotted right below us in these cliffs. Getting a little video of them right now. We're just trying to decide right now if we want to try to go down this finger and on top of them where we would lose some vantage or stay on the ridge that we're on now and try to shoot across that canyon, which might be our best option unless he goes over the next ridge and then we're kind of chasing him. Nothing out here is easy. Every step is hard fought. This breathlessness is part of the reason that you come here, to do what few ever even attempt. The bull is bedded just shy of 650 yards from us right now and he's just in a horrible spot. We want to play this bull pretty smart. If we don't get on him today, we want to leave enough opportunity that we have that chance tomorrow too. This is the opportunity that we work so hard for. And as quickly as opportunity comes, it disappears right in front of our eyes. Okay. These are the moments that we live for. Time spent with our best four-legged friends and telling stories in camp. <laughs> My wife felt sorry for me, so she went and bought this little pony mount, the old called Wojak, 48 inches tall. He's up in the air, over on his back, floundering around. <laughs> These are the best of days. The days that we will always remember. Close calls and what ifs. That is what hunting memories are made of. This episode is dedicated to our mule Chester, who passed away suddenly less than a month following this trip. For over 25 years of his life, he carried my dad into the backcountry and carried out our dreams. Chester, your memory will be with us forever.